Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn about modules. So far, uh, we have uh, created our own custom PowerShell environment of including own functions, aliases to fill the gap between Microsoft, what, it, what is provided and uh, also with what you want here. For example, the git hyphen time, which was not this. So we wanted to create and we got created. Uh, and that's a gap and uh, that's alias is what we wanted to create, uh, for example. But uh, do you think that the same way we wanted to uh, build our own PowerShell environment, uh, for thousands and thousands of uh, activities definitely we are not going to create and we it's it's highly not possible maybe because uh, if you look at uh, different products or uh, different tasks uh, it's very hard for us to create everything uh, so there should be something called a built-in kind of things so that's where we are uh, going to there are a collection of functions and command lines and the scripts uh, on the created for thousands of different tasks to accomplish. So these collections are referred as a modules now. And these are several uh, that are installed on your machine already. And if you want to you know, find out uh, to get uh, more information on your uh, module, so you can use the get hyphen module uh, with the parameters, maybe a list available. Uh, you can you know uh, use this so that it's going to actually uh, give you the list of uh, available modules for example here you can see here windows update specific uh, also windows set specific and appv specific app locker specific apex the latest one isv specific and the different modules are already available but these are not actually uh, set it into active mode so the only these are the modules which are in active mode uh, the reason being is uh, if we start loading all these modules uh, in a work environment uh, PowerShell might get you know a hung state also and we don't want you know keep every module which is unnecessarily uh, putting into a run environment it might be leads to some kind of you know, security issues also so we we just wanted what kind of modules what we wanted and we we simply input those modules and we work with those modules that's the plan and all these modules are sitting into the specific folder uh, in this folder all these modules are available so the idea here is being you know instead of we write our own uh, modules or uh, or the scripts or the functions uh, instead of we write on our own uh, we can use the uh, which are available these modules or we can go to the microsoft repository microsoft also maintaining a repository where you can actually uh, download uh, or work with those modules uh, in that specific uh, repository let me open that website here and show you so here the powershell gallery is the uh, website which has all the uh, all the repository information uh, or the all the modules which are available if you just go back to the packages you can see here thousands of uh, scripts and the modules which are available here you if you're looking just for the module you can simply filter by the module or if you're looking for some kind of you know script by this time uh, for example you want to uh, looking for a script that uh, needs to be create some kind of uh, uh, which the script does the work for creating or modifying some of the user record that script might be available here already so you you can simply you know search here uh, for that specific you know script so or you can you know uh, if you're looking for the module so here uh, you can check out the modules which are available so what we're gonna do is uh, such kind of you know um, uh, trusted repositories which are maintaining all these all these uh, packages or all these modules so what we are going to do is we are going to download those modules uh, for example you see here the azure specific some of the azure rm azure uh, storage uh, azure uh, specific key wallet all these are uh, even including the azure full azure set is available so what, what would happen if i you know just go to the Azure uh, and uh, have a look on this a uh, specific module this is uh, very recently got updated and uh, uh, this gives the more information even uh, for example these are the version history current version so these many people has been downloaded this so far and uh, this has all the uh, required information and if you are looking for some kind of you know automation specific to the SU specific this module would be uh, useful for you so what you are going to do is you are going to be you know actually using all these uh, specific module specific commands if you are uh, 
specifically using Azure specific tasks. So to do that, uh, we need to you know manually download either uh, as the package, uh, a new PKG package, or you can actually install directly from the PowerShell by pointing up a PowerShell script to uh, hey, you go and uh, talk with the PowerShell Gallery repository and download that Azure specific uh, module. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you. Before I actually input, let me know, show you here, is there anything relevant to the Azure? There's nothing uh, specific to the Azure, uh, which is available as a module, uh, as a built-in. So I need to import that module. Uh, let me do that. So to get these modules, I need to you know uh, type as the install hyphen a module, um, that's a module name, and give a module name. In this case, the name is uh, definitely Azure. Uh, and uh, where is this Azure is coming up? This Azure is coming up from my PowerShell gallery, and the PowerShell gallery has a repository. So I need to give here as the uh, name called a repository. And then uh, in this repository, I need to. So I need to mention here uh, the repository as the PowerShell gallery. Uh, so this is a website. Uh, so the PowerShell knows that, you know, since the repository's information, it's uh, it, it already knows that information. So I need to just give as the PS gallery is the repository name. And uh, I can simply give as a four so that it's not going to ask anything. Remember that if you're trying to do this, uh, you need to uh, think about what is happening in the background. It's actually connecting to a, a trusted or untrusted repository called PS Gallery. It can be a hacker's gallery also, but we know that this gallery is maintained, maintained by, this repository is maintained by Microsoft. But we never know that um, if you're trying to install uh, from a non-trusted gallery uh, or non-trusted repository, it would be a security issue. So that's where the PowerShell uh, execution policies uh, would be you know, uh, set it. So if you're trying to do the first time without setting the PowerShell, uh, set execution policy it might uh, it might not be successful this command for you and uh, if I try to execute this it also gives me uh, even though if I set the PowerShell um, execution policy it will still warn me that hey you're trying to you know, download from a different non trusted or tr uh, or we never try to download from this repository or you should you wanted to know download such kind of you know questions might ask uh, even though i give the force command so just want to you know show you that let me hit enter here uh, so in my case I already set the powershell execution mode so i shouldn't get any warnings or errors specific to the powershell gallery but I might get uh, for the package download uh, relevant to repository specific uh, information. Yes, I got here. If you look at here, it says that, hey, are you uh, trying to download uh, some kind of you know, package uh, which is from another repository? Are you sure you want to you know, do it? Yes, I wanted to do it uh, because I wanted that Azure specific gallery. Now, if you look at here, uh, if since I have just given only Azure, even though Azure uh, in the top, uh, it's it's actually going to install uh, even the Azure specific dependency modules also. That's how it, in an intelligent way it's going to download, and uh, it might take some time because uh, it might be a package size also matters and the internet connectivity also matters for us. Based on that, it's actually going to uh, download uh, in a minute. For example, if you see here, uh, Azure RM profile is getting downloaded, and also if I'm sure the storage also getting downloaded of uh, 5.42 MP and uh, 33.18 MB of complete Azure package is going to download. So once we uh, once we install this entire module, we will have that uh, entire uh, specific module will be ready state for us. So this might not take some time. You see here, um, it's actually unzipping uh, from the temp location of the Azure and it's actually loading to that specific path of the uh, of the standard um, module installation. So it has been installed now of uh, the Azure specific module and I should be able to see now uh, if I only choose as the available modules. But in fact, you know, if I just go for the uh, get Azure module, I will not be able to see. That's what we can, you know, demonstrate now, uh, like, you know, just the get module. Uh, 
uh, not the list all the available modules but just the modules it's not available as the issue or anything and uh, if I just give the as you specific uh, list all available modules then it will be visible but it's not even uh, installed state that means it's not in active state so we need to actually uh, use the uh, command to uh, to execute so uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually pressing the up key up arrow key and the down arrow key so that you know the commands which I whichever uh, we have used in the history that can be recalled that's the one of the tricky part uh, which you can use it now I'm just trying here list available as the command now I should be able to see here but that doesn't mean that you know I'm able to actually readily use you know and if I just go up here I should be able to see here as as your stories as your and as your RM profile but uh, if I want to uh, if I want to you know uh, make it as available to use uh, or to list it in my get commands that means I should be able to use the commands of Azure specific uh, command lists to use that I need to actually execute now another command uh, for the module specific so that the modules can be uh, can be actually available so what we have done is so far we just installed the module from the trusted repository and we tried to find out the git modular and we are able to see that three modules got installed uh, but uh, not available for uh, not available for uh, execute the command so I'm going to import the module uh, now this time module Azure and uh, if I start executing this it's not going to show any kind of you know uh, output you don't get any kind of you know out and uh, if you remember we have our other modules also imported uh, other modules also available as part of the uh, when we try to import or we try to install the Azure module it got installed in storage and the profile and uh, information also so input that also so that uh, you would be getting uh, Azure chart uh, storage uh, yeah if I give a tab it's coming up and similarly in profile or file Azure or um, profile so these are the three modules got imported if you check out now uh, with get hyphen module uh, this time it should be available uh, the required uh, these two of the modules the, these three is the module which we just downloaded or so you can check out here now Azure uh, and Azure Storage and Azure RM Profile. These are the three modules are ready for utilizing. So within these, uh, whatever the commands are available within these, Azure modules can be used. If I want to find out what kind of you know, commands has been added, definitely I need to add here like get hyphen command, uh, which is going to list me all the commands. And um, if you see here, the list is increased. Um, very extensive like the functions and other things has been already added here it's a long length uh, you can see here remove specific set specific it's a huge let me check out here uh, anything uh, relative relevant to the Azure you can check out in the early of this the Azure specific these are the aliases and the functions has been loaded here if you check out here scroll up or down you know you would be getting more about the Azure specific so if you uh, if you are familiar with the Microsoft Azure uh, to use this uh, module uh, you can you know um, get uh, get the Azure specific modules here you can check out Azure and Azure RM profile all that has been already loaded and it is readily available how you're gonna uh, get the modules uh, from a trusted repository so I do want to give you a word of caution when it comes to installing PowerShell modules as I mentioned before when talking about uh, execution policies PowerShell has become a breeding ground of a new malware the number of new instances of a uh, malware buried in PowerShell scripts is staggering so be careful with your execution policies the way you want to configure and the policy execution policies the only uh, install the modules uh, directly from the trusted source and if you trust it uh, just install otherwise don't install from the uh, other unknown trusted source if you start building your own modules uh, put some kind of uh, quality checks and quality controls before you adding anything uh, into your uh, trusted uh, or trusted local repository but do seek out uh, trusted repositories and expand the functionality of PowerShell to cover with your needs by finding modules which are or might be already available in the trusted uh, source before you spend some time to create your own custom functions um, hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this